Hello lovelies, we are here for you today for Top Dads of Luke I Am Your Father's Day. <laughs> You've been really wanting to tell that joke. I have, it's so good. <laughs> so to preface this, it took us a really long time to come up with a Top Dad list. Yeah. That's... <sighs> It would have been a way easier list to come up with if it was the top worst dads. But since we're celebrating dads today, um, we gave it a shot. And I think we did pretty good. I think so too. Um, but these are, I don't think these are in any particular order of one top one or no. whatever. Because they're all very, very different fictional dads and father figures, father figures in their own way. Mm hmm. And let us know what dads you think are cool. Maybe the list is easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of like, I don't know if that's a phenomenon, but I think it kind of reflects life pretty well. That dads are kind of absent. Absent? Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, that got dark really quick. Very I'm quick. Sorry. <laughs> but what do you like? I don't know, that's always a tough, I mean, it shouldn't be a tough question, but what makes our dads <laughs> cool? My dad lives in his head in a very, very amazing and place. <laughs> Let's say that. What? I, I hate the things that he comes up with. He has a very vivid imagination. Um, so does my dad. <laughs> Uh, my dad and I definitely don't agree on anything at all, but one thing that I really appreciate about my dad is that he has shown me how to fix the most random things. Um, he fixes electronics and that's what he shows, shows me how to do is take apart things, put wires together where they shouldn't, and that's how I actually started circuit bending um, kid mm -hmm. instruments. So, do you know what that is? No. So circuit bending is taking um, like toys and uh, opening up the components and changing the sound um, wiring so that you can press the buttons and it makes a different weird robotic creepy sound. <laughs> and like so <laughs> it's awesome. It's horrible. Like it sounds like Aww. aliens. But thank you dad for showing me how to do that. It's and a great um, skill. I think also he showed me how to be prepared for an apocalyptic event. That's cool. <laughs> my dad taught me how to cook. That's awesome. Yeah, my dad always cooked. He's always been a great cook. And he taught me how to do that. And I think I'm a pretty good cook, so. You are a pretty good cook, actually. Thank You're you. You're way better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a cook on our list of top dads. We do. Yes. And that would be Bob from Bob's Burgers. And I think he's an awesome dad. Yeah, he's so supportive. And he never, like, talks down <laughs> to his kids. And all of his Are kids, you, he does. like, well, all, he's very supportive of, like, he, he's just real with them. I don't think he talks down to them. Yeah, he's pretty real. And he's always supportive of, like, their ideas and their, like, quirks and everything. I think that's so cool. And I think it's also important that he gives his kids jobs to do. Like, he's not one of those that he's a practical blue-collar dad. Yeah. Right? Would he be considered a blue collar? Oh, definitely. Yeah? Okay. So they like, that's how we grew up. We grew up um, having to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like painting, painting a lot. <laughs> yeah. But you look, I painted this wall today. Do you guys like it? Do you like our new uh, background? Don't, hopefully, I don't ruin our don't new Don't ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> painting, building crap, making food for yeah. ourselves. Yeah. That's, that's a great quality of a dad. A lot of stuff in my dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and my grandpa. Yeah. Bob also has a great mustache, of course. And his just deadpan humor. I just love that. <laughs> um, who, do I have any other people with mustaches on our list? Coral. He doesn't have a mustache. Yes, he does. Rick Grimes? Rick Grimes is next on our list. <laughs> Rick Grimes does not have a mustache. Yeah, he does. He has a mustache. Well, in the show, he does. He does? Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a mustache. It's like a beard and mustache. And sometimes he shaves it. Sometimes... I know. It's like rugged looking. Yeah. He kind of has a mustache. Anywho. Rick, Rick Grimes. Grimes. You made our top dad's list. And... 
why? So. He's just the ultimate protector and leader and he's teaching Carl how to grow up in this world. And how to survive. How to survive. I, that's survive. A terrible. And he's not going easy on his kid. He is very real with him and lets him shoot a gun even when he's like, I don't want him to shoot a gun. And yeah. yeah. We will survive. But he's not, I don't know how I feel about him and his daughter because he's never yeah. taking care of his daughter. He's never taking care of his daughter. Uh, What's his daughter's name, Judith? No, no, this is a top dad's list. What great qualities in a dad. But you know what? He's indirectly taking care of Judith because he's taking care of everyone else. Yes. And to raise a child, you need a community. Exactly. Right? Yes. Is that the saying? No, yeah, it takes, it takes a village. It takes a village. <laughs> um, but I think Rick Grimes is also... I mean, he sacrifices himself for Carl, and that's pretty awesome. That's and true, especially when the this past season. Mm -hmm. That was that got to me. I was like, oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> I felt things weird. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if my dad would uh, do that for me. So I think Rick Grimes gets a plus one on the uh, self-sacrificing dad quality. <laughs> All right. Um, who's next? Well, the next comic dad I thought was a great dad was Marco from Saga. Um, I'm not through all of the Saga volumes yet, but I just love him and his wife, Alano? I think her name, I, I, I don't know her name right now. Um, but he's just like, they're like, it's like love in the face of adversity and they have this illegal, well not illegal, but like this baby that wasn't just supposed to be born and they're just, I just love Saga and I love Marco because he's got horns and he's really cool <laughs> and he's funny. I think that dads with unique qualities are cool like that. Yeah. Like a dad that's all like... I wish my dad had horns. <laughs> I don't... Well remember I told you that story about my dad having a bump on his head and <laughs> my entire childhood life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean this is kind of gross. But it was like a sebaceous cyst <laughs> on his head that never went away. So I think my dad had a horn. But now he doesn't have a horn anymore. It's Probably gone. It dissolved. It dissolved. <laughs> but it yeah. was like all my friends would like notice that my dad had this huge bump on his head. It literally yeah. looked like a cartoon. Like you hit him over the head with a hammer and like he had this huge well. Speaking of bumpy dad heads <laughs> or father figures, <laughs> oh. the next on our list is from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yandu! Yandu! You're not a biological father, but you were there for Peter Quill when he needed him. You it doesn't saved him and you threw yourself under the bus for it. And it doesn't matter, you know, that he raised him to be a thief and a scound scoundrel. <laughs> right. But he were there for him. I think that's, again, he sacrificed himself. Yeah, and Peter Quill grew up to be a pretty cool guy. Pr pretty awesome guy. Yeah. And he's Thanks saving Yondu. the world. <laughs> <laughs> so you had... He was Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mary Poppins, y'all! He really was. He, 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 he took care of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this next top dad... You, you guys might have forgotten, forgotten about him. But um, we won't forget you. Which is part of his character, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're bringing you to the front, Jerry Gergich. Jerry Gergich. Gingrich. Gergich? Gergich. Jerry Gergich of Parks and Rec, who raised three smart, beautiful, wonderful, beautiful women. Had a hot wife. Yes. That no <laughs> and he was an amazing person. He's an awesome character in general, a person in, like, a awesome human <laughs> like i can't even get the words out he really is and he larry. gets so much crap from everyone gary larry jerry with a g <laughs> <laughs> you are an awesome dad and you know i think that sometimes we treat our dads that way like you know how when you and i talk about our dads it's like we yeah. kind of like put them in the Oh, they definitely Jerry stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is clumsy. He is oh, very clumsy. He's very clumsy. But he has such a good heart. Yeah, <laughs> at the end of the day. And maybe we take the, our dads for granted sometimes. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> the way that everyone took Jerry for granted. So that's our top dads list. Yeah. Tell us about your dad. Or your top dads. Or your father figure. Yeah. Who's there for you? Who would sacrifice themselves for you? 
<laughs> oh, I don't know. That's like pretty deep, Musa. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who would cook a burger for you? <laughs> that, that's simple enough. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, and that's it. Um, that's all. Yeah. What? Oh, we didn't say the thing? Yeah, we didn't say the thing. We didn't say the thing. We didn't say the thing. <laughs> Remember, hit that bell, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you really soon. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to start a fire. Not literally. <laughs> Figuratively. In Figuratively. your heart. In your brain. Yeah. <laughs>